All right, so today we're gonna to take a look at DB2 on IBM Cloud. I'm using a free account. I do not have a credit card tied to this account, but you're able to use DB2 and some other services for free. So the first thing we're gonna do after we log in is type in DB2 and select that service from the catalog. And I'll keep the default location of Dallas for me, but you can see in this light plan, I get 200 megs of storage, five simultaneous connections, and I'm able to create this for free after I agree to the license on the right hand side and then create the service. Once that's done, I'm shown all of my resources and I can see my database there and it's being provisioned. If I wait just a little bit and I click on it, I can create service credentials for it. So I'll go ahead and create a service credential and then take a look at what's within it by expanding it. So you can see I've got a username, a password, an SSL reference, um, and also if I wanted to use the DB2 CLI, I could do that with this composed line here. But the IBM Cloud Shell does not include DB2 by default, so you'll need to install it. But you will not be able to get root access on the Cloud Shell, so I would re recommend using a VM if you need to use that. So now that it's up, let's go ahead and go to the UI and we can take a look at IBM DB2 on cloud. If we go to the data page, this is where we can load some data. And first let's confirm what version of DB2 we have. So if we grab this command, this select command, we can paste that into the console here and run it. And we can see the output shows our instance name and other information about the release and the version of DB2 and so on. So now let's load some data. But let's first take a look at a CSV file that I've prepared that we're gonna load. So if we go to Visual Studio Code, we can see I have a file here, 24 rows long. The first row is the header and uh, the other 23 rows are the data. And this is coming from IPASS. So Let's go ahead and put that file into DB2. And we're gonna select the default schema and we're gonna create a new table called IPASS. Once that's done, we click Next. And then we can see it detected from the header in the first row, the schema for the CSV and for the corresponding IPASS table. So we take a quick look at it, we click Next, and we begin the load. It uploads the file quickly, doesn't take long for all 23 lo rows to be loaded. So we can take a look at the table and everything looks good here. So then we could run a SQL command against it just to confirm everything loaded properly. We select five records and we can see them down here in the results tab. There's also a robust API for this that I recommend using. So for example, if you wanted to back up the database, you could use the post method on the IBM DB2 on cloud REST API. And this is the Python code on the right hand side where you supply the API hostname and auth token, a deployment ID, and then post to the URL. And you can get that information by going back to the console and clicking administration. And you can see a lot of information like the host name, uh, the version, the REST API host name, the JDBC string if you want to use Java or something similar, the SSL certificate if you want to use SSL, and then some CLI commands if you want to use those as well. So hope you enjoyed this. This is IBM DB2 on IBM Cloud. You can use it for free. And thanks for watching.